According to National Cyclic Risk Mitigation Project data, about 58% of the cyclones that are formed in the Bay of Bengal hits the eastern coast of India, and only 25% of the cyclones develops in the Arabian Sea hits the western coast of India. About 80% of the total numbers of tropical cyclones of North Indian Ocean are forms in the Bay of Bengal. On an average, about 5 to 6 tropical cyclones form in the Bay of Bengal every year. From May 2023 to May 2024, eastern coast of India have experienced four severe cyclones, Michang, Midhili, Mocha and Remal. The Bay of Bengal also holds the title of causing 80% of the world's cyclones related death. Have you ever thought why are there more numbers of tropical cyclones originates in the Bay of Bengal and why are they more destructive in nature? Today in this video, we will find out the reason behind it. So let's begin. There are several factors. Let's know them one by one. Average depth of the Bay of Bengal is 2600 meter, which is comparatively lower than other water bodies in this region. So the Bay of Bengal get hits up more quickly. That is why there is more heat transfer from water to the air, which increases moisture and instability in the air. These are two highly necessary conditions for the cyclone formation. The long and curved coastline makes the Bay of Bengal funnel safe, which results more wind speed. This intensifies the storm destructive in nature. The Bay of Bengal is surrounded by land from three sides, which gives a source of additional moisture and instability in the air. The area of the Bay of Bengal is 2.172 million square kilometer, which is comparatively larger than other water bodies in this region, so storm can get more enough time to form a cyclone. Average sea surface temperature of the Bay of Bengal is about 28 degrees centigrade, and also recent measurements have recorded temperatures of the Bay of Bengal is between 31 to 32 degrees centigrade. This high sea surface temperature helps cyclones to gather more moisture. The southwest monsoon originates in the Indian Ocean carries large amount of moist air over the warm Bay of Bengal, which is also plays a crucial role for the development of cyclone. The Bay of Bengal is surrounded by land from three sides. That is why the Bay of Bengal receives constant inflow of fresh water from many big rivers like Ganga, Brahmaputra, Irawati, Krishna, Kaveri, Godavari and so on. In addition, the Bay of Bengal receives a higher amount of rainfall, which makes it hard for the warm water to mix with the cooler water below. That helps to form depression. Here we must remember that all cyclones that are witnessed in the Bay of Bengal are not originates in the Bay of Bengal. Some of them originates in the other water bodies, especially in the Pacific Ocean. Due to lack of large landmass between the Pacific Ocean and Bay of Bengal, cyclones that are formed in the Pacific Ocean can easily move into the Bay of Bengal. Excess greenhouse gas traps 90% of the heat energy in the ocean. Climate change, global warming, rising sea surface temperature, and rising sea level in recent times multiplies the frequency and intensity of cyclones all over the world, as well as in the Bay of Bengal. Eastern coast of India and the coast of Bangladesh both are densely populated region, especially the Sundarban region of India and Bangladesh. In addition, declining mangrove and sea level rise makes cyclones more vulnerable and destructive in nature. Hope it is now clear why are there more cyclones from in the Bay of Bengal and why they are more destructive in nature. That's it for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share with your friends. And if you have any suggestion, then please comment below. And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.